Hi there everyone, my name's Luke and welcome to my channel. It's currently 10.30 on a Tuesday night and I've only just got the scope out about five minutes ago. Uh, I think this is probably the very definition of getting off to a late start. We've only got around one week to go now until the uh, Northern Hemisphere has its summer solstice. Um, with that in mind, I mean the nights are extremely, extremely short this time of year. Uh, currently for me there is no astronomical darkness. Um, we reach nautical twilight by around about midnight and the sun starts coming up again visibly in the east. Um, the sky starts brightening by about two in the morning, so there really isn't much time. However, I, I would normally get out the little rig in a situation like this, but I just really wanted to use my Esprit. And uh, so with that in mind, I've picked a target that I think is probably still gonna be suitable, even in these conditions. And the target I've picked is going to be M27, the Dumbbell Nebula. I'm going to be shooting it with my Esprit 120, 2600 MC Pro camera and the Optolong L Extreme filter. I hope you'll stick around and let's see how it goes. Alright, so it's about midnight now and I'm just about to get going on the target, the Dumbbell Nebula. Tonight I'm going to be shooting with 3 minute exposures as a little bit of a change. Normally I'm using 10 minute exposures for just about everything, but the reason I'm going to go with shorter ones tonight is because I'm going to treat this as a bit of a, a one and done session. So uh, I want all my data capture to be done and finished just in this one night. So I know I've got about two hours available to me if the weather holds uh, and I want a decent amount of frames so I can make the best use of any stacking rejection algorithms that's going to help me get rid of any uh, Starlink satellite trails, things like that, over transient events that might happen uh, and an otherwise perfectly good frame, I don't want to lose all that data. So uh, if with these three minute shots over the course of two hours, that's of course going to result in 40 sub exposures I think, which is going to be a decent pool of data to be able to uh, pull from and uh, should lead to a nice result, especially on a lovely bright target like this. Um, I don't know if I mentioned earlier, but I will be using the Optolong L Extreme filter tonight as this target predominantly gives out just hydrogen and oxygen wavelengths. So uh, yeah, I can't wait to see that kind of apple core shape of the dumbbell appear on the screen for the first time now. <laughs> I was just finishing up recording then and someone came to visit. Hello, Radley. <laughs> well, we're nine exposures in and hopefully with 31 more to go um, before the end of the night. And I've got to say that it's looking absolutely brilliant. Um, I know that from when I've shot this target before, back in the uh, in the past a few years ago with an actual mono camera and hydrogen and oxygen narrowband filters, um, there's some little wing shaped extensions in this oxygen part that kind of continue on a long way, I don't know if you can see there on the screen. Um, I'm thinking there might even be a chance I can capture those tonight, even without it being truly dark and using a one shot colour camera, dual narrowband filter. It's not exactly stacked with advantages, but it just seems to be working absolutely brilliantly. So it's about half past one in the morning now and unfortunately clouds have came in and I think it's going to draw a bit of a premature end to my session tonight. Um, it's no huge deal because I guess dawn would have stopped it anyway within the next half an hour so uh, as long as I've still got some usable data I just did a little scan through the, uh, the subframes on APT and it looks like there's 
potentially still just above an hour's worth of good exposures so that should be able to be processed into something decent as it's such a bright target um, that said none of it really matters because I'll be honest with you I still had a lot of fun um, before I started making these videos and things like that and sharing them with everybody a lot of my sessions kind of looked like this there were one night efforts uh, just a few hours and I did what I could and learned what, whatever I did from them and just moved on to the next thing and I imagine that's probably how a lot of people image um, it's not always realistic I guess to do uh, night after night after night huge like epic sessions on the same target uh, we've all only got a finite amount of time available to us each season so uh, yeah I'm still gonna share this and I hope you'll enjoy seeing it regardless uh, I know it won't be my best image but it is what it is uh, I still hope you like it so with that said I'd just like to say as always a huge thank you to everybody for watching I, uh, I really do appreciate your time and all your support it's uh, still blowing me away I'm still not used to it so <laughs> we'll see if that changes as time goes by but looks like there's no end in sight yet um, so yeah thank you very much and I look forward to seeing you all next time Glitz guys